enforcement operation is taking place right now, one that emphasizes treatment over incarceration when it comes to dealing with drug offenders. We want to stop the revolving door between drug use, crime, and arrest. Tip the Scale was designed to hold people accountable and encourage recovery. That's why Tip the Scale includes drug treatment counselors in order to begin the conversation about recovery. This is especially important now. AB 109 means we have more pressure to get treatment started in jail and continued in the community. Law enforcement typically is a, you know, arrest, 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 but we can't do that anymore. You know, and with the state realignment of prisoners and uh, the, the flood of new offenders in our communities, we've, we've just got to think differently. What made uh, Tip the Scale operation unique is that we used flex time and volunteers. That way we uh, didn't have to wait for our grant funding before we conducted our operations. And I think what makes the Tip the Scale operation so valuable is that they bring all the resources together in one operation. By bringing the, the service providers along with law enforcement, we're uh, making uh, the resources out there, the drug treatment resources uh, available to them uh, so they can really turn their life around. Operation Tip the Scale is a one-day operation enlisting the support of multiple law enforcement agencies who will be conducting probation and parole compliance checks and directed patrol throughout the southeast region of the county. This is a collaborative effort to reduce drug-related crimes in communities throughout San Diego County. We, we absolutely believe that getting these individuals engaged, successfully engaged in treatment services is essential to, again, our mission, but also in reducing recidivism rates and helping them turn their lives around. When we have these contacts with uh, individuals under supervision, we have the ability to refer them directly to a residential treatment bed. So we um, skip a middleman, if you will. And we also don't have to rely on them following up on their own to try and get into treatment. Probation offered me to go right back in another program, so I really... So you're appreciative of it? I really, truly think this is a blessing in As disguise. opposed to just being thrown in jail? Oh yeah, every other time I got pulled over, I was going to jail. You what know? kind of drugs have you been using, sir? I use crystal methamphetamine. It seems like you're getting a little teared up. Yeah. I got three kids in foster care and I'm trying to pipe them. The Drug Endangered Children's Program, also known as DEC, run through the County of San Diego's Child Welfare Services, has been a vital partner to Operation Tip the Scale. We rely on our DEC partners to come on out to the home when officers find drugs or weapons in the home, even parents that are under the influence, and these children can no longer remain in the home. We've deemed it unsafe for them to be there. So the DEC worker will find a new safe environment for these children to go to. They're especially trained in these particular cases. They know how to document these cases, and they also know how to navigate the court system for dependency court. Once a child ends up in dependency court, then the parent must prove or show that they have um, corrected their situation and that they can provide a safe environment for their child to reside in. Operation Tip the Scale is quite unique uh, in the country. Uh, when you think about San Diego and brings together uh, the sheriff, uh, the probation office, uh, the district attorney, our courts, our drug and treatment providers, and members of the community all coming together with the sole purpose of helping people uh, get on the path of recovery. We're focusing on a uh, younger population between 18 and 24. We feel targeting the younger population will be a, a huge benefit as oftentimes the younger population is more receptive to treatment. When people are being arrested, I think we're at a very critical moment where we could uh, have a sit down and have a conversation in regards to treatment. And at first I had my tongue in cheek thinking it wouldn't work, but it has worked because people get an opportunity to find out and get some tools and get some education about it. And a lot of people still think that that's the only way to live is to use drugs and alcohol. They don't realize that there's another way to live. We know that meth is a problem in our communities, so anything we can do to try to reduce that problem, to get that out of our communities, is worth the while. We deliberately saturated the media with our message on the tip of scale operations. Uh, we find that people are more inclined to uh, behave well when they know that somebody's watching. One of the clear outcomes of the community of the tip scale operation was that we had uh, more significant crime drops in both property and uh, violent crime rates in the areas where we conducted our operations.
our success in San Diego is making that awareness and providing those resources uh, because the alternative is quite grim. It's getting reincarcerated. And again, through that vicious cycle of incarceration, leading to more crime. And that's what we're trying to avoid. And that's what Operation Tip the Scale does. It's avoiding and reducing the crime. It's an early intervention, but also provides, I think, a highly innovative, collaborative approach in getting people help and getting them to a life of a healthy lifestyle.